Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. I am Jyoti Dixit and in this video we will be covering regression analysis using scatter plot in Power BI. So regression is another hot topic in machine learning. It's actually an equation y equal to mx plus c where we obtain the line of restrict and uh, so uh, basically we will be learning how we can do uh, regression analysis using Power BI uh, so using scatterplot visual only so uh, by the end of this video you will learn you will be able to basically come out with this kind of chart uh, and you will be able to obtain correlation coefficient and of a coefficient of determination and all these things basically so uh, what i had done is uh, again i am using uh, a stock a dummy stock data set of many years actually it has multiple tickles and it has uh, 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 the, the analysis we will be doing it has like uh, open prices on x-axis and close prices on y-axis and we will be learning uh, about their relationship only uh, like what effect open price has on close price and uh, so uh, for now what we can do is we can remove that open and close column so that we can start this from scratch so i'll actually drag open column from here and i'll drop it to this x-axis field and i'll do the same with close but i'll drop it in the y-axis field okay so again since it's uh, it has applied some aggregation over here uh, we are getting just one data point. So we have to select drawn summarize in this case. And okay, so this is done. And you will be able to get this plot uh, in this case. So now, uh, okay, what uh, is done is uh, now I'll remove trend line. So this is the plot that I have with just two variables in x-axis and y-axis field. Now I want to obtain the regression line for my plot. As in, I want to obtain the line of this fit. So what can be done, uh, how we can do is, uh, we have to go to analytics pane over here. And after this, you are going to see these multiple options over here. You are going to see trend line x-axis constant line, y-axis constant line, symmetry shading and all these things. So I'll expand this exp uh, uh, trend line and I'll add a trend line. And you are going to see this uh, dashed line over here. Uh, it's actually white in color and this is uh, the regression line, the trend line basically that we have obtained, keeping both of them in mind now uh, you can uh, actually drop these lines also like x axis constant line like if you choose them then you are going to have this x axis constant line over here so uh, i don't find them as usual uh, uh, useful actually till now so what i'll do is i'll remove this from here for now and uh, I'll, I'll actually do the same for like y-axis constant line and you're going to see this uh, as well it's representative of the origin actually so i mean maybe you you may find this uh, helpful in some cases and uh, this is actually symmetry shading so if i add this uh, symmetry shading then you can see that uh, there are two partitions in this particular graph. One is having brown color and the other one is having uh, green color. As in the area uh, up at the, at the top of uh, this uh, trend line and area uh, at the bottom of this trend line. So 
muscles are given by this symmetry shading. You can change the color if you want. So uh, that's your wish. I'll remove it for the time being. And this is uh, this is how we are over, uh, able to get this plot over here. Now the other thing which arises is uh, like I want to see uh, I want to calculate the correlation coefficient. So how can I do that? How can I go ahead with that calculation? So in order to obtain correlation coefficient, what you have to do is you have to actually right click on the name of this table. Uh, this data set and you have to uh, select new quick measure so uh, when you do that uh, it is going to ask you to, to select the type of calculation that you want so uh, you can see uh, under mathematical operations you can see correlation coefficient just click on that in the category you you can you have to drop maybe date because name we are using it as filters so by dropping date category in uh, uh, in the category paint in measure of x uh, we are going to drop the open column uh, by default it has selected some we have to change it we have to like select average and or you can select median if you want because median is the best representative of uh, any kind of distribution uh, so um, you can select it if you want you can do the same for y axis also but you can you will have to select uh, close in this case and click on again average over here and you just have to click ok I'm not going to click ok because I already have this over here then you have to rename this uh, and that's how you obtain correlation coefficient. Now, you have to define coefficient of determination also. So, the formula of coefficient of determination is actually the square of correlation coefficient. So, uh, I have already calculated this and it's, it's actually over here. So, um, when you select the names over here, like if I select ACN over here, then you can see that the values have got changed. The chart has got changed. Uh, so, and I can select any other value also. I can select like ASDK if I want. And this is ASDK for me. And AMD, if I want to select AMD, then this is the value of AMD. So, uh, if I want to select like multiple uh, this thing, multiple tickles, then that can also be done. And again, you are going to get the values of correlation coefficient of, and coefficient of that de determination accordingly. So, guys, uh, with this, I conclude this video. Uh, so, in this video, we learned how to uh, do regression analysis using scatterplot in Power BI, how to obtain correlation coefficient, how to obtain co coefficient of determination. So, one thing that we have to note uh, is that it is use useful in case of uh, univariate regression. But when it comes to multivariate regression, then we have to use, uh, we, we have to uh, take care of this we have to use our uh, languages in that case or we have to like maybe we can do some uh, some form of principal component analysis maybe dimensionality reduction and just uh, choose one piece one principal component and then we can do this analysis and all. so because uh, we don't have a charge for like multivariate regression in Power BI we have charts for bivariate analysis uh, in Power BI. So we have to keep this in mind. So if you like this video, please hit on like, like, uh, comment and subscribe to our channel and share our video. So thank you and stay tuned. Bye-bye.